And I am really passionate about protecting the earth, making a difference and using this chance and opportunity that Miss Earth has given me to influence people to go to the right direction, which is to be cautious of our actions, which lead me to uh, my advocacy that is against deforestation and illegal hunting. I believe if we stick out together, we can make a difference. And uh, as a person who comes from a natural resource, a very gifted country, I think we can make a better change. And I am here to tell you that the change that I saw in my country in the past, in the past couple of years had come, had come to my mind to realize that if we can do things together, then we can make a very big change in one day because uh, surprisingly, we are the only country who planted 350 million trees in a one day. And that's a very big lesson to the world, in my opinion, because together we have made history and imagine what we can do as a world. My advocacy aligns very well with the SDG2, which is Sustainable Development Goals, which is ending hunger in Somalia. For the past 40 years, Somalia has been affected dramatically and immensely by drought. And that is something I would like to raise awareness about and how ways in which us humans and me can reduce and find ways to end the famine that is likely to happen. Thank you for listening. My advocacies are in three levels. Firstly, it would be highlighting the importance of creating sustainable food sources. Secondly, alleviating period poverty within communities by creating awareness for eco-friendly alternatives to menstrual products and advocating for the slow fashion movement by highlighting the importance of sustainable fashion. I'm currently working as a public relations and marketing manager. In 2020, I started volunteering as a tour guide and it taught me the importance of nature preservation, which is why I advocate for the promotion of coexistence between humans and the wildlife as a way to safeguard the ecosystem function because uh, it is one thing that is essential to sustain life here on Earth. I aim to, ch I aim to change the narrative of inadequate shelter from one of despair to one of hope and resilience. And as an architect, I have a social responsibility to fulfill, which aims to bring access to affordable, quality and decent housing to our marginalized communities in a sustainable and dignifying manner. And through my hard work, which is Diana's Heartbeat Foundation, which is a nonprofit organization, which I founded in 2019, which has the ultimate goal of reaching a zero informal settlement goal, which I believe is truly possible as shelter is a fundamental right and everybody does deserve to call a place home. And of course, this is important to just highlight that the construction industry has been the reason why 50% of the natural resources has been depleted. And with that said, there's obviously a huge urgency for us to work on it. And besides that, uh, my foundation is also passionate about different social issues, being feeding programs, and we feed over 800 children. And we also believe that we have actually a garden which sustains them. And in that way, I think we are also contributing to our beautiful planet and ensuring that it's clean. And we also do uh, period poverty, which I'm passionate about period poverty, and we do do pair drives where over 2,000 girls have benefited from those pair drives. And I also do mentorship. Currently, we are mentoring about 50 kids and we are also a support chain to entrepreneurship in the youth in my country. I truly believe that I have the heart that is ready to serve and be a servant of my nation. And most importantly, take action and being a listening ear to those problems that do arise. Well, um, currently in Nigeria, we are going through a um, flood. And like I always tell people, I'm a dancer and I want you all to know that nature is very important. And when nature rouses, everybody must dance to the tune of nature. When there is flood, when there is earthquake, you cannot say no because you will dance to the tune of this nature. It's happening everywhere. It's on the social media. Everybody's talking about it. And everybody, one way or the other, is experiencing the consequences of climate change. So if you don't believe get ready to dance to it. One way or the other, you have to dance and you have to learn. Thank you.